Baldy, move in. Hit him and reel him in. Will do. Okay, people, let's move. Security Chief Garibaldi has uncovered a pattern of gruesome attacks by the Raiders against shipping vessels. The cargo space on all the routes hit so far has been sold by the same company. Suspiciously, this same company experienced problems with their data crystals. The likely reality is that these data crystals are now in the possession of the Raiders. Babylon 5, we have located the Raiders' command and control vessel. We're sending you the coordinates. This is Babylon 5 to Raider Base. We have warships en route to your position. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. This is Earth Line Cruiser to Raider Base. Stand down and order your fighters to return to base. Negative. I see no reason to surrender. Fire control. Clear down the guns to Raider Transport. Raider Transport. The next one will not miss. This is the Raider CNC. We surrender. We are standing down. I repeat, we are standing down. The ship's too small to make its own jump point. And with our jump gate closed, the nearest one's six light months away, and Garibaldi at his back. We've got him boxed in on all sides. We can wait him out if we have to. Commander, jump point forming in Sector 3. What? So that's how the Raiders get in and out so fast. A vessel that size would have to be capable of solo jumps. They're moving in attack formation. Weapon systems locking on. Close blast doors. Prepare for attack. Oh no! Raiders! Raiders on board the ship! Help us! As you are no doubt aware, Altair has a Raider power. The Raiders here are organized and well armed. Resident security forces in Altair have proven insufficient to contain them, and as a result the Raiders have been able to grow exponentially. The situation has become intolerable. The Raider influence is everywhere in the system. Time is right. In space, merchant vessels are taking heavy casualties. EarthGov has decided to take action. President Santiago has commissioned a four-ship task force to remove the Raiders from our territory. Our primary objective is to protect the civilians here. Our secondary objective is to neutralize as many Raider assets as possible, effectively removing their ability to raid. The main problem is finding the Raiders. The Raiders have a jump-capable carrier called Medusa. They make quick hit-and-run attacks. Often by the time our ships arrive at the scene of the attack, the victims are already dead. We are being boarded. I repeat, we are being boarded. Raiders have reached our hull and are... That challenge is going to play off the one. We're going to have to take it down. This is the clutch. We have Raiders with PPGs on the other side of the bridge door. Thanks for nothing, Earth Alliance. Raider vessels are rigged to delete their nav coordinates should the ship be compromised, and captured pilots refuse to talk. Who can blame them? Those who betray the Raiders wind up dead. The board is set. Hermes, Morpheus, and Gibraltar are about to jump. Each has been assigned an area of space which has seen frequent Raider activity. They will patrol, look for raiders, and respond to news of new attacks. We will also leave shortly. Our task force sister ships, the Hermes, Morpheus, and Gibraltar, are already there doing the very same thing. In fact, in the first official engagement of the task force early this morning, the Gibraltar valiantly fought off two wings of raider fighters and saved the Galen, a medical research vessel. At 0900 hours, Easy Line operated Starliner Bradbury left Altair Station en route to Babylon 5. At 1100, we picked up a distress signal from the Bradbury, indicating that a bomb had been found aboard the ship. Bradbury was in hyperspace and had already completed approximately half the journey when the discovery was made. Boy, are we glad to see you, Shilla. It's madness here. 
We tried to perform an orderly evacuation, but the passengers panicked. And then all hell broke loose. There was a rush for the shuttles and life pods. Many injuries relating to crushing and asphyxia. Some fatalities. The life pods and shuttles are all gone now. There's still hundreds left on board. Maybe up to a thousand. Roger that, Bradbury. We'll prep the medical shuttles for launch. It'll take a few minutes. Hang in there. Raiders. Raiders on an attack vector. Headed for the escape pods and shuttles. Captain Tennyson of the Earth Alliance Cruiser Stella to the raiding party. This is an attack on unarmed civilians. There's no profit to be gained from this. Forget it, Silla. Our contract said no survivors. If anyone walks away from this thing, we miss out on a big paycheck. Energy spike on the Bradbury. Shuttle aboard. What? It's too late! No! no! Again, results are conclusive. No survivors. Nobody. Tragedy struck the troubled Altair system today when the Easy Line operated Starliner Bradbury was destroyed in a fatal explosion. Then, in a macabre twist, the Raiders, who are believed to have been responsible for the explosion, arrived on the scene to destroy the ship's life pods and brutally massacre the few survivors who have escaped their lives. Despite the best efforts of the EAS Scylla, countless were killed. ISN estimates the death toll in excess.